Thanks for staying with us on World Now. From a potential truce to continuing attacks on Gaza's Indonesian hospital, the following report takes a look at the major updates as the israel Hamas war enters its 460th day. Premature babies who were evacuated from Al-Shifa Hospital in northern Gaza after an Israeli attack arrived in Egypt on Monday for treatment and care. According to a World Health Organization spokesperson, all 28 babies are fighting serious infections. Meanwhile, Japan is attempting to hold direct talks with Yemen's Houthi group after it hijacked an Israeli-linked ship in the Red Sea that is operated by a Japanese firm. Tokyo said on Monday that it is also urging the international community to persuade the rebels to release the vessel and people on board taken hostage. A total of 83 mosques have been destroyed and another 170 damaged by Israel airstrike across Gaza since October 7, Gaza's media office said on Tuesday. According to the latest flash update from the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, about 25,000 people left northern Gaza through a safe corridor established by Israel. The Indonesian hospital in northern Gaza was surrounded by Israeli tanks on Monday, while artillery fire also killed 12 Palestinians in the complex. Indonesia's foreign ministry said it has also lost contact with three Indonesian students volunteering at the hospital. Coming to Israel's defense, U.S. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said that Israel does not want to wipe the Palestinian people off the map. Uh, what Hamas wants make no mistake about it, is genocide. They want to wipe Israel off the map. They've said so publicly more than one occasion. In fact, just recently. And they've said that they're not going to stop. What happened on the 7th of October is going to happen again and again and again. And what happened on the 7th of October? Murder, slaughter of innocent people in their homes or at a music festival. That's genocidal intentions. Yes, there are too many civilian casualties in Gaza. Yes, the numbers are too high. Yes, fam too many families are grieving. And yes, we continue to urge the Israelis to be as careful and as cautious as possible. That's not going to stop from the president right on down. But Israel is not trying to wipe the Palestinian people off the map. Israel's not trying to wipe Gaza off the map. Israel's trying to defend itself against a genocidal terrorist threat. So when we're going to start, if we're going to start using that word, fine, let's use it appropriately. More than 13,300 Palestinians have been killed since the war began, according to Palestinian health authorities who do not differentiate between civilian and militant deaths. About 4,000 people are reported missing. Some 1,400 people have been killed in Israel, mostly during the October 7 attack, and around 240 were taken captive by militants.